Lancaster, California, and a fan of Elvis since three years old. Uh, ten years in a row. Wales. Fantastic. I mean, for me, for my personal shows, I do a lot of 50s and 60s music, uh, but I sing a lot of 70s music as well. I mean, Elvis's voice just progressed. It got better and better and better as he as he got older. It never a time when he sounded bad in his life. So uh, every every era is excellent. I think he was at his best in the 70s. Well, whatever it is, no one else possesses it because Elvis is the only artist that has been celebrated this long and has this large of a following. I mean. You can mention Elvis's name in any country if they speak English or if they don't speak English, and you'll understand. You just say Elvis, and everyone loves him, and everyone knows him. So it's 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 just a magical gift from God. It's not it's not it's nothing that that any of us can possess. It's just an amazing gift that that was given. So yeah, I don't know what it is, but everyone seems to still know it, still feel it. That's for sure. So. Yeah, I've noticed there's no Milli Vanilli week. There's no Milli Vanilli week. There is an Elvis week and it's 26 years after the man died and that's truly amazing. myself if anybody's interested it's called, it's called uh, Paradise Susanna Style please bear with me I'm a bit tired Paradise Susanna Style and it's all about the 60s and 70s and making films in Hollywood and West Indies and uh, what it was like to be English and the only English girl to star off as a girl was Presley Tell the world again. Enough. 
South Sand. And we know how much you look forward to this particular night. It's, uh, for some, there's a, a feeling of sadness because we think of the person we love who isn't here anymore, but more than anything, it's a real celebration. A celebration of a life well lived, uh, giving to others of his talent, of his time, of his generosity. And it's a celebration of a global friendship that crosses all age groups, all sorts of barriers, all languages. And there's a feeling of friendship and camaraderie and family that you people represent, that we all represent together, like no other group I can think of. So that's a great thing to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> Since I was seven. Great. Before your father we thought about you. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing Elvis for 45 years. The woman, the sex ability, he looks good to some guys. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> very soon, probably within a day or so. And for those of you who just hit town, I want to uh, let you know that we've got a very, very special event tomorrow night. As you know, this year marks the 30th and 35th anniversaries of uh, two of the greatest performances Elvis ever gave. It's the 68 TV special and the 1973 Live yeah! special. I'm from Mayfield, Kentucky. I, I like uh, how great they are.
get rid of these days. That's a sad story, but it's it's true to life. It's, it doesn't paint paint with pretty pastels. It tells you straight about it is. My favorite on stage song. Tough one, huh? Uh, yeah, because I mean they're awesome. It's fun. I like uh, I really like uh, the song he called "Find Out What's Happening." It's got a real good groove to it. That one, uh, yeah. Of course, Steam All the Blues. I'm a big blues player. Love the blues. You really get so much you can do with it. You really get about working with it. It's an easy song. It's easy to play over. Easy with a lot of feeling to it. No. Uh, of course, another burning love. Well, that's all. It's just, it's got such a pop to it. I mean, it's not a lot of leads. You can play good driving rhythm to it. Anything that's got a good driving rhythm to it. It's not so bad. It was only a halfway down. It's not so hot. He was hot. So we bring people here year after year. Because he lives. He's alive. Yes, sir. 